Welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us today as we're going through the uh, program. Please call the prayer lines and get a breakthrough and let us pray with you and agree for your situation. That's 307-637-PRAY. You cannot miss that. And then go to the website across the bottom of the screen. Please, if the Lord would tell you, lead you to donate something, we could sure use it. And uh, uh, we don't like to take a lot of time with funding, but... Funds are what it takes to run the TV station and the kingdom for the gospel to get to those in need. And so anyways, and those who don't know Jesus, I just want to welcome you new viewers today. I'm Charlene back to Marion, uh, one of your God's View hosts. We have Jennifer Griffin, another one, and we have Lana Gardner. And our other host, Marianne, is not with us again this week. Mm -hmm. And uh, she'll be back, though. Yeah. She'll be back. Um, just different sort of things going on in life. So uh, we're just going to keep believing that all of us get through all of our trials and tribulations of what we are talking about today. Mm -hmm. We are talking about trials and tribulations because so many of you are going through trials and tribulations. And um, I was going to read that scripture, but oh, it's, it's okay. Um, we'll just go on with it and uh, just know that God has a plan for your life through all the trials and all of it. Just remember, they perfect you. They, they're yeah. perfecting you. It's not to beat you up. God's not saying you're bad. A lot of times we want to beat ourselves up, and the devil wants us to point our finger at ourselves like we've done something bad, and that's why we're going through what we're going through. Or we're in some kind of sin, and you just keep condemning yourself and beating yourself up when there's just nothing wrong. You just need to stand. You just need to stay believing because mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, we go on over and over. The woman with the issue of blood, mm -hmm. 12 years she waited for her miracle. And yeah. there's many, many other things. You know, yeah. many things That's right. that people go That's through, right. trials, but God's there. Yeah. And then, in, you know, God says, I mean, I believe, too, where it talks in Peter, it says, um, it says, don't be amazed or bewildered by those fire, fiery ordeals which are taking place to test your quality. And mm. I believe that God's strengthening That's us awesome. through that. And he allows things. He doesn't send trials. He doesn't send those things. The enemy does that. But God allows things, and it strengthens us. And, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, it tests our quality, too. How are we going to react? You know, God wants to see, are we going to panic when something happens? Or are we going to have faith and we're yeah. going to trust him? And so I think sometimes we don't realize, you know, I mean, I know there's a lot of things going on. But, you know, our reaction really does matter, our our response to yes. it. I guess that's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. If we can respond back and go, wow, you know, God, you are the one that holds us. You are the one that takes care of us, you know. Yes. It tests our quality. It yes. really, see, to see where we we're act at in our walk. or react. Mm -hmm. We really do. We there can act on the word or we react out of a fleshly place, out of an emotion, out of something that is not. And emotions are good. God gave us emotions. Yeah. I know a lot of us have heard, oh, don't, you know, there's so many silly things that we have you know followed yeah. and and yeah. all these kind of things but you know god gave emotions and emotions are good but you just want to respond you know with and re you know act not react yeah mm -hmm. and that's all just act out of the word you know the right. best we can we're not none of us are perfect yeah. We just are not perfect, but this is what's perfecting us, right. God says. Right. We're going through all this stuff, and no, none of us like it. But you know what's funny? We cry out, girls, don't we? We say, God, we need, we want this, and please do this in our life, and please do that in our heart. Mm -hmm. And then when he starts doing it, we come kicking and screaming, What, God, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? When he's, you know, we cried out, but our flesh <laughs> is kicking and screaming and throwing fits because... We don't like the way God's doing it. Well, like what you said, creating me a clean heart, a pure heart, you know. Yes. And when God starts doing that, things start shaking. <laughs> you Ooh, know, things it shake shakes, up. and then things come up, and and so that's part and of it one too. One thing goes is religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Religious right. spirits go, and many of you that have been called to the gospel of Jesus Christ and to preach and and all that kind of stuff, 
or even you, you know, in the prophetic, you know, the biggest trial that you go through, the devil comes there and says, that isn't God, don't speak that, don't say that. And you just have to be bold and you just have to, you have to say to that religious spirit, shut up in the mighty yeah. name of Jesus because I am called, the gifts are going to flow and don't back down because it's, it's kind of like a trial that you're going through, a tribulation, so he can shut you down because the religious spirit will always go, shh, shh, don't yeah. say that and always trying to put you down and make you feel <laughs> yeah. like you're, you know, you laugh too loud yeah. or whatever it may be. You may be a very boisterous, expressive person and there may be a lot of different, more laid back people around you and you have felt just really beat up every time you yeah. do something around them. But no, be yourself. I gave be you your yourself. personality. Yes. You know, right. you, you, something that we really have to emphasize with trials and tribulations and that is that the religious teaching uh -huh. of today says that God is the author of hurricanes, tornadoes, mm. divorce, mm. you know, every kind of anxiety, tragedy, sickness, you name it, anything yeah. that's negative. They say that mm. God's the author and that is a lie, that is a lie. from the mm -hmm. pit of hell. And that mm -hmm. we must remember that God is a good God yeah. and the devil is a bad devil. Oh my God. And uh, that uh, James 1.12, through 13 says blesses the man that endureth temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him let no man say when he is tempted I am tempted of God let no man yeah. say I am tempted of God because you know what when you start when when that religious teaching starts blaming God that's a faith mm -hmm. killer yeah and you I mean, how could you go to, how would you want a friend? Could I be your friend if I was the author of sickness, disease, right. poverty, right. all those things? That's you wouldn't God. want me for your mm -mm. friend. Mm -mm. It's the same thing with God. That's right. So let's, you know, let's just know who our enemy is right now. Yes. And if you go yes. a little further there, it says every good, every perfect, free, large, full gift is from yeah. above, comes uh -huh. from the Father of lights. Yes. So yes. it's the good gifts that come from God. So that's right, Lana, you know? Mm. Yep. Amen. Amen. And you know, in 1 Peter 4, 12, I love that. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. It happens to everybody. I mean, yeah. that, that's a pretty powerful yeah. word right mm -hmm. there. Like, in, 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 and just know, in trials and tribulations, you know, it's so funny. The devil wants to make you think that you're alone. That, but you know what? Your brothers and sisters mm -hmm. throughout the world are going through the same thing. That's they go true. through fiery trials every day, every moment. And, you know, all of us do. And so you just, you just keep on standing. You keep on believing. Yeah. And just, you know, find somebody to agree with. Uh, whether you call a prayer line or whatever. But yeah. just don't beat yourself up. I know there's Christians that point fingers and say, well, what did you do? What door did you leave open? Because you're going through this trial. You know, when I had gotten back from Africa, um, this was years ago in 94, I came back very, very sick. And it was influenza. It was, you know, uh, mm -hmm. flu stuff. And you know what? It ended up lasting, believe it or not, horribly for five years. God kept telling me, I'd cry out to God, I'm a, I'm a woman of faith, I believe in healing, I'd rebuke it, I did everything, and I'd have all these Christians always come up to me saying, what door did you leave open? Wow. Maybe it was that witch doctor that you brought to the Lord, maybe he cursed you in, in Africa, maybe, you know, this and this yeah. and this, and God would always say to me, even in the wee hours of the night, um, my blood is sufficient. Yes. Don't listen or leave that, there's no door open, my blood is sufficient. Don't believe all the Christianese stuff that, you know, because a lot yeah. of times there are things like that. I'm not, I'm not denying that there's not warfare. There's not those things. I've had things just where there's people have cursed or hexed or that, you know, and you have to take authority of those things. But there's also times where you got to stand. And you know what? That was yeah. the hardest thing. When I'd go see people, I'd be in the middle of Japan. So, you know, um, with that, with that sick and not be able to, um, sing the, the song of the Lord because mm -hmm. I prophetically I sing over a lot of people when I go to minister yeah. and so it would be so hard because I couldn't even hardly talk let alone and this was five mm -hmm. years people five years. Wow. hardly talk and but in the middle of Japan I'd start singing the word of the Lord I don't know why how come 
you know, and my voice would be just perfect. Wow. And then right when I get off from the ball, and I'm just like, okay, I can't understand, you know, I, I can't explain that. I just know, my God, the blood was sufficient. Amen. And I stood on that, and the Lord said, no, don't hook up with what everybody else is saying yeah. about what door, or you were hexed, or you were vexed, because he said, a curse undeserved cannot stand. That's right. And he That's says, right. and I'm your God, and my blood was mm -hmm. shed for you. And mm -hmm. one day I was sitting on the couch, I said, oh, God, I believed all of it. And I was watching a miraculous healing program and all these people being healed. And I sat on the couch and I said, oh, God, I'm just nothing compared to that. Heal that little boy in that wheelchair. Heal that person. And the Lord says, I, I do want to heal them, but I want to heal you today. Amen. And I want you to believe for your healing. And from that moment, that moment, I didn't take another thing that the doctors wow. gave me, the inhalers, nothing. Because wow. I was totally free. Thank you, so Jesus. So for five years... Trials and tribulations. I could have beat myself up and I could have let others beat me up by saying, well, what door did you live on? Are you in sin or what would you do? I didn't yeah. do nothing. But the devil, like Lana was saying, there's a devil there yeah. is that, that is the author of all that stuff, yeah. not God. Mm -hmm. that's right. He's the author of all that stuff. And that's why you're going through all those trials and tribulations, even though God said, don't take it strange because they do perfect us he could well, come in and just stop it we live in an imperfect world an imperfect right world. and Amen. you think about the story with jesus where the man um that he healed i think believe his eyesight and from and he was from birth i think it was his eyesight from birth that he was blind mm -hmm. And they asked, well, what yes. door was open? What, you know, what sin? Why was it? Yeah. But it wasn't about that. It was so the glory of God might be shown. You yeah, know? that God um, would be but glorified. But we live, we, we're born into an imperfect world. There's, it, we don't always understand everything. I, yes. That's why I think we're going to get to see the other side of this someday, yes. you know, to really understand everything. But right now, we, we only see in part, and, mm -hmm. you know, we see a piece of it. And so, But we have to stand, like you said, and believe and not give yes. in to that, you know. Never give in. Mm -hmm. The other day, you know, somebody, <clears throat> I had this bump on my on my hand. I said, what do you think? It was to a nurse. I said, what do you think that is? Because she's a girlfriend. She's, she said, oh, it looks like rheumatoid arthritis. I said, oh, All it right, can't live in my that. body. That's yeah. right. No way. It you cannot can't live in my body. Minute, can yeah. You? No. And yeah. you know what? It did take a couple mm -hmm. of weeks for me praying and believing and telling arthritis to leave and the swelling in my body to go in Jesus' yeah. name. And you know, sometimes we do have to pray a while, like you had that, yeah. Yeah. but re rarely. You know, yeah. a lot of times, don't, wouldn't you say that most of the time when you speak the word that God comes through for you? And then there are the trials mm -hmm. where, you know, you, you, you have to it. fight. Mm -hmm. You have to walk well, And I've it. had to fight for a lot of things for mm -hmm. years. And that doesn't mean that God's not with me. That that's doesn't right. mean that I'm believing any less. That doesn't mean that I don't have faith. And that's where we're, we, we, we want to get through to you today to encourage you to keep standing, mm -hmm. you just stand. And, and and if people come up to you and say all that, and because you know, you could spend all the time in the world, keep checking yourself, keep checking your heart. When you know what, all you gotta do is say, it's the, the blood sufficient. You, right. you would not believe the junk I had to go through for five years with Christians. Mm. It wasn't the world. Well, where's your faith? You just want to slap them. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't Forget you me? But I mean, you do. Don't you see that when there's a call, sometimes like you're yeah. called into some pretty um, deep places, and mm -hmm. and and there's going to be some other things that you're going to have to walk through, and it's it is a testing. It is a yes. it's a it's to test our quality, but also. The enemy does come after because he wants to, to stop. Yeah. He wants to stop you from functioning in your gifting. He wants to stop yeah. you from doing that. And in those five mm -hmm. years, I've seen more people healed, and I'd go home and I'd think, I am just desperately <laughs> manifesting in my body, you know, sickness. And I'm like, you're healing these people from major wow. stuff, from all kinds of stuff. I'd lay hands on them, the sick would recover. And it doesn't matter what you're going through. You've got to believe God. And that's, that's the trial. Right. You mm -hmm. believe God because I'd go and I'm thinking, who wants me to lay hands on them? They're going to think, gee, she, she needs to believe for herself. <laughs> you know, when you go through that beating up and you go through that yeah. mind game, when you get from the pulpit and you're, you're feeling like that, but you know what? It didn't stop me. I still Amen. traveled the world. I still did what I needed to do. And God healed me. Doesn't matter what anybody said, what they did. And, That's right. But you know, it does. It does get to you. It does. Yes. And you, you know. will be healed. You yes. know, I don't know if it's going to be instantaneously. Right. It's going to be five years. Whatever yes. it's going to take. 
whatever it takes is for you to just hang in there with God. Yes. And I love the way Jesus fought the devil. What did right. he say? Mm. It is, is written. written. Yes. It, it is, is written. written. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that just lost somebody from cancer, I mean godly men and women that believed. I had a friend that oh. godly believed and she went home with cancer. You know what? I don't know why. Yeah. I don't I know why. Um, and I'm not saying to you, well, where was your faith in it? Like That's people right. said to me. Because I don't know. I don't have the answer for everything. But I just know what the Word says, that we're to believe. And God heals. Yeah. And that changes mm -hmm. nothing. No matter if somebody went home to be with the Lord that was Christian. And, you know, doesn't yeah. matter. God still heals. Yeah, He's, yes, and, yes. and that doesn't make your faith any less or, or you didn't believe. I mean, there's real sad things to where I see a lot of people um, that have children, whether they're Down syndrome or whatever. And, and I've seen the cruelty of some of the mouths of those who believe and have different belief systems say, well, you don't have enough faith. Mm -hmm. That's why your kid's like that. That is so cruel and that is so unacceptable for someone to say that to somebody in that situation. Because there's people that get cataract surgery. Well, why, why, why did they have to have cataract surgery? Where was their faith? You see what I mean? There's all kinds of stuff or, or yeah. any kind of surgery. I mean, I've had, right. you know, different right. kind of stuff, you know. I mean, well, really, I, I yeah. haven't really had surgeries. I mean, a lot of people do go through a yeah. lot of surgeries, though. But there's no shame. Do. There's no shame in that no, either, because no. God will use different Whatever. situations. Luke was He'll, a doctor. He does use different situations, and we have that available. Thank you know, thank God, we have that available when yes. it's absolutely necessary. But you know, I think it's been a, it's been something in the body of Christ that has been there's been almost a shame put on people that have had to walk through things. But you know, they have had greater faith than a lot of people I've ever yeah. seen. So well, because God know. kept saying in the Word, your faith has made you whole, but He didn't say your lack of faith has made you sick. People take mm -hmm. things okay. and run with it. Mm -hmm. They take things and they make a, a doctrine out of it. And you know, Jesus, you know, even though her faith made her whole, well, maybe it was you know a good thing Jesus was saying. It just yeah. doesn't mean that there's a bunch of lack of faith in everybody that is um, having some troubles. I mean, look at the great man of God, uh, Billy Joe Daltrey. Don't tell me he didn't believe. Yeah. Don't tell me he yeah. didn't have any faith. Yeah. I and mean, he's home with the Lord. Cancer. Yeah. You know, but we don't know. I mean, I, he was a great man. I adored him and everything. But we don't know where an individual is coming yeah. from. Yeah. We don't know That's where right. their faith is. Yes. You know, we don't know it. That I know myself a lot of times. You know, someone will have a problem. I go, oh, you know, you need more faith. You do need this and that. And then as soon as I get hit, it's like, oh my gosh, I start, you know, crumbling a little yeah. bit. So, so it's a fight all yeah. over again. Yes, yes, to get yes, your yes, faith up, to get, to get in faith, the yeah. Word, to get in the presence of stand, God, right? to stand, mm -hmm. to do yes. everything you know to do, mm -hmm. and then stand. And we know that God says, "I heal." God says, yes. "I heal every sickness and every, every disease." Yeah. Yeah. And so we can't look at this man of God or this sister Susie where they're coming from. We don't know where they're coming yeah, from. All true. we know is we're fighting the good yeah. fight of faith. Yes. And Jesus taught us to say it is written mm -hmm. and that as long as it takes whatever it is, we stay in we his stand. presence. We, yeah. we believe that we receive mm -hmm. no matter what. And and that's where we have to get ourselves. Right. right. And then yeah. if you still have to have surgery or whatever, you can't you can't beat yourself up. You can you know, God heals up. during surgery. Yeah. Too. Yes, he God. Yeah. And you know one of the greatest things is when you said stand and faith and really we're talking a lot about faith because mm -hmm. you have to have faith. You, you have sure to believe do. to get your healing and uh, believe that that is for today and and one of the biggest things what was coming to me when you were just talking was Jude. Uh -huh. Where it says building yourself up in your mm -hmm. most Holy faith, mm -hmm. my beloved, Building yourself praying up. in the Holy Spirit. That's right. And you know, that's why it's so important to have your prayer language because when you, when in Jude, you are building up your most holy faith, even praying in the Spirit. And so that will help you, yes. you know, increase that. If, if maybe the fight is battle and you're, you're like battling back and forth, well, am I believing? Am I not believing? Yeah. And something has come and settled in on the promises of God, which is doubt and unbelief. The biggest robber of the things that God has given us, the benefits, which is no sickness, no, you know, 
all those benefits that we have, health and wealth, the benefits from on high, one of the biggest robbers is doubt and unbelief. Yeah. They've come to steal, kill, and That's destroy right. Right. and take what is rightfully mm -hmm. ours, mm -hmm. you know? And so it, and it, and it happens mm -hmm. to many people. But you know, stir that up. Amen. We just prophesy and yeah. pray today for Amen. you that that gift of faith is stirred mm -hmm. up yes. and that, that through this trial that, that you will be perfected, that you will come out on the other side. When we're going through, you know, going through something, God gave me a great message about going through. And when I looked the word up, it was so simple, in one side and out the other. Yeah. You're going through. Amen. You're going to go in, but you're going to go right. out the other side. was going right. through? <laughs> Paul was yes. shipwrecked, yeah. stoned, oh. drowned. Oh. <laughs> but he always came through. I have a girlfriend. I always say this about her. She owns a TV station, and she's just an amazing woman of God. And she goes through more trials and tribulations because the devil's always trying to yeah. oh, stop yeah, because her. he wants the TV station. And I always mm -hmm. say, Grace... You're like a beautiful rose that goes through a cement roll, wall and comes out a rose again. <laughs> she just yeah. does. That's amazing. Always, huh? we always awesome. win. We read the well, back of the book and we that's win. Right. Well, one thing that's more true. than conquerors. That's right. We win. That's right. One yeah. thing I, I, I'm looking at this because it says, you know, in First Peter 5, 7, it says, and I think we talked about this early, casting the whole of our cares, all of our anxieties, all of our worries, all of our concerns once and for all on him because he cares for us. And I think sometimes yep. when we start, you know, we're talking about sickness, a lot of times people, it, it, there is something to that where we're carrying worries, we're carrying fear, we're carrying stuff, and we need to be casting it off right. to him constantly yes. or unforgiveness or anything like that. We need to check our hearts first. We do. Like yes. you said, you check, and we've been checking our hearts. But you, then you find out that this is... You know, that, you know, if it isn't that, but there's, if we're carrying anxieties, that causes sickness. I mean, oh, it, it does. Oh, it does. Stress because it causes says, sickness. It says to be well, well balanced, mm -hmm. but then it says the enemy comes in seeking who he can devour. So yeah. he, he kind of goes, oh, well, you know, they're, you know, and I'm just saying that's one aspect of it. But if we're in fear or if we're in worry and concern, anxiety, the enemy has, he kind of comes in and starts devouring in those areas yeah. so we have to check our heart we have to check yes. where we're at and casting constantly casting those yeah, things and God over to will him turn it around because mm -hmm. he says i work together for good for you know everything for those who love me and That's are called right. according to my purpose so you know i mean we love him you love him and you yeah. love people mm -hmm. and you let god unfold and just do it but just stand and don't let people come and put your put you down and put your faith down because Alana said we don't know where anybody's heart is. We no, have no right. right. We, we have no right don't. to do that. Mm -hmm. And um, you just stand strong no just matter worry about what's your coming own heart. against you. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, really, because it's it's the body. And we've been good in the body of Christ of doing that, judging each other's hearts. Yeah. Yeah. And God says, judge not, lest you be judged in the same measure. And what happens? You're wondering why something ain't happening for you. That's why you got to check your heart. And here we go around the mountain. Here we back right here. Yeah. Now, around the mountain. Back here right again like the Israelites. <laughs> because, yeah. you know, the, the same old, same old. And, you know, I like I say, you know, like even your friend fighting with the TV station. You know, people don't realize the devil, you know, they, they say he's the prince of the air, not of my airwaves. That's right. Yeah. Not of these airwaves. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, won't, right. I won't, I won't, I uh, won't take that. Uh, teaching or anything like that. They can say he's the prince of the air. Well, he's not the prince of my airwaves. Yeah. Of these airwaves. <laughs> of this TV station. Jesus God is doing, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's airwaves. I don't know, but it ain't airwaves of this TV <laughs> station. Because I'm just not, yeah. I'm not receiving that or believing that. Or my mm. gosh. This is God's what airwaves, good is it? right? You know, yeah. we've got to remember that we could take back yeah. yes. whatever the devil has stolen yes amen yes uh-huh taking it back and there you know there's a song remember that song making war in the heavenlies, heavenlies yeah casting down, down every principality thing. principality yeah. that exalts itself against, against the knowledge of god yes and we just that's gotta right. fight well that's what well, like fighting and standing you know <laughs> i love that song. that's the fighting and standing that we have to press through because you can do that in everything whether it's music or anything mm. it, we we don't you know it is of god and it's yes. and it's coming forth and i don't airwaves. know why but it just came to me he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands i guess because i looked at the world behind you <laughs> Uh, but you know, no, it, just and it says that he formed that 
the whole world with his hands. I know. I mean, that's how big his hands are. He is so, he's amazing, God. And he wants to set you free today. And yeah. you know, I know many of you have been going through fiery trials, but God said, count it all joy. Mm -hmm. You know, he's perfecting you. He's gonna help you through it. And you know, we just pray that anything that has been coming against you, we just cancel its assignment. We're yes. standing here with you mm -hmm. today. Call the prayer lines yeah. 307-637-PRAY. That 7729 will agree with you. And most yeah. of all today, we don't wanna leave you ever without saying to you that Jesus is the one who will help you through everything. Amen. And many of you watch don't know him. And what we talk about and why we're here is all because he changed our lives. And he'll come in and he'll rock your world if you'll give him a chance. Just say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Mm. I don't want to take control anymore of my life. I've messed it up, but I know that you can fix me up. You can help me like you help these women that I'm watching right now. And just say, I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth, that you are the Son of God, the Christ, the Son of the living God, the only God I am. And he's the only way, truth and life. And so mm. he will come in and he will do that and forgive you of your sins. And just, he he's going to make everything... You know, I, everything isn't perfect when you become a Christian, but I'll tell you what, you have a peace that passes Amen. all understanding, truly, right. and he will help you through life. And so, we if get you perfect. said that today, yeah. We will be yeah. perfect. One don't worry to glory, right? Yes. <laughs> and don't, don't say, oh, well, he'd never mm -hmm. want me. Yes, he wants you. Mm -hmm. To the lowest of the lowest. If you're, you know, we've had prostitutes call everything, yeah. and God's changing their lives. Listen, he loves you. It doesn't matter how far you're in sin, where you've been, he loves you. Mm -hmm. And those who have fallen, he wants you back. And if you were yeah. first time born again, we'll send you a Bible. Call our prayer lines. We mm -hmm. love you. Yes. We've got to go for today, but mwah. We love you. Keep tuning in. Be blessed over and over again as the Holy Spirit ministers to your heart by ordering today's program on DVD or CD. DVD $9, CD $7. Both include shipping and handling. Order your copy today at www.GodsViewTVShows.com must specify topic of show when ordering. Remember, must specify topic of show when ordering. Go to www.GodsViewTVShows.com to view all God's View TV show hosts, books, and CDs. Joshua and Jennifer Griffin's music CDs. Marianne Peluso's music CDs. Lana Gardner books and Charlene Back to Marianne's books. Visit www.GodsViewTVShows.com to purchase your products today. Get your CD or DVD of the month handpicked by God's View host as our love gift to you for any size offering. Go to www.GodsViewTVShows.com to get your copy today for any size love gift. Must specify love gift of the month. Remember, must specify love gift of the month. Get your